hey guys and welcome back to another video hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today here we are with the latest microphone from toner this is the orca 001 link down below just in case you want to check that out because the price it's really interesting for the quality that it gives especially if you want to transit from something like that to something like this. Now, if you are looking for Windows 10 or Windows 11 Home Edition or Pro Edition keys, don't forget to check out Keys Fan, where we can find budget and official OM keys. And with the coupon code, you may get Windows 10 Pro at seven US dollars or Windows 11 at. 13 US dollars. So just check out the link down below just in case you want to check that out. Now, in terms of the Toner Orca, in my opinion, it's a microphone that it's really well suited for this kind of scenario for someone that wants to improve the audio from their camera. In this particular case, the Sony ZVE 10, which is my favorite camera. And although the sound is not bad, it's not the same as recording in this kind of microphone. We have seen other microphones from Toner in the past, also on a budget. I will leave a link right over here, just in case you want to check that out. But wow. Now, inside the package, we will find this kit right over here. It comes with this really nice stand made of brushed aluminium, nice built quality, a shocking mount, which will absorb some vibrations. It also has foam on the bottom with a mixture of uh, rubber, so it will avoid any vibrations that we have on our desk and it comes with this USB type C to USB type C or type A output so if your computer like mine has USB type C or Thunderbolt in this particular case you will be fine if you have USB type A you will be fine as well it also has this mount that will allow us to remove the microphone from the stand and if we want to put it on a boom arm we can so we have total freedom right over here and we will take the shock mount with us in terms of the microphone design I really like it. It's aggressive. It's gaming style. Although from that side over there, you can see that it's not that aggressive. But once we turn it, it will look really, really cool. So it's a gaming style. It has some buttons, actually four buttons. The first one is the mute. You are not hearing anything because I did activate the mute. And we also have the volume button up and down. We have 11 levels of sound and they are categorized by RGB. So 11 different colors. And I believe that in a week or two, we will learn what is the level regarding the appropriate color. Finally, we have a button for uh, the noise cancelling. And then at the bottom, we have the USB type C connection and also a output for our headphones. So just in case we want to monitor the sound, we can do that as well. The major difference is on the audio quality, obviously. And once again, if we compare with the Sony zv 10 which I believe that it's the only way to see the huge difference. So imagine that I was doing a review with this microphone talking about this case or this box and if we compare to the Sony ZV-10 there is a huge difference in the sound quality and in terms of budget for what we get I do believe that it's really nice. It has a nice feature which is the noise cancelling testing out the active noise cancelling at this moment it's non-active and I would like you to hear something if I press activate it will eliminate the parasite noises that we have on the office, which is not much, but there are sounds. And you will notice more when I don't speak. You can see the light activated. And you can hear the sound. It gets better in terms of those noises. Now let's do another test. Deactivate it. I'm going to put this shopping mall noise that we have been using on some scenarios noise cancelling and at this moment it will pick everything but if we activate especially when we are not talking the microphone will do a really nice job of course when we speak it will have to capture sound so it will get some sound of the background but less than when we don't have the noise cancelling active and i can deactivate right now and at this moment it's not activated so it will pick everything and when we activate it will block some of the sounds and as you could hear it can block some sounds it will not block everything but most of them it will and at this moment we have been recording without noise cancelling 
And we do have some sounds here on the office that some of them are not noticeable right over there, but some are. And if I press the button right now, especially when I'm not speaking, we can hear it going more silent. So this is really, really cool. Let's deactivate for those that want to improve this kind of setup. I forgot to mention that I'm using a Mac to record the audio at this moment, but we can also use Windows or if you do content on your Android phone, you can also use your phone to record audio and then put uh, content to Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, whatever social network that you use. So overall, I do enjoy the microphone. I like the stand, but I also like the freedom to take the shock mount and put it on a boom R, which we could use right over here. For example, I could put it and let me put on frame. I use my top camera right over here but I could use with the microphone which sometimes I do put it right over here you will not notice the microphone on frame and I have a good audio quality right over here so this is another scenario that we could use and basically this is it in terms of conclusion for the price I do believe that it's worth it it is a budget microphone and it delivers a really nice quality for what we get that being said hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there just next to the case from the toner my name is Roberto George this is the toner Orca 001 and as always I'll see you guys on the next one